Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in this secret case, I have a first look at a very portable and light projector that was sent to me and is available right now on Indiegogo. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I was really excited to get this product to take a look at. It is a very portable projector that uh, was sent for review and it's currently on Indiegogo and there's opportunities for backers and for people to um, get involved with the project. It is extremely small. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we're going to check it out, we're going to power it up and see um, the image quality. Uh, but I have to say it's extremely small. So make sure that you follow the full video and check it out because you may want one of these for your family and home events. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this little case. Now, I'll warn you that I don't know if the uh, full production version is going to come in these little nice cases, but I thought it was really cool to get something like this, so we'll open it up. And what we have here is our projector. Now, this is the Levis Air projector, very small projector. Let me put in the palm of my hand so you can see. And for those of you who have been watching my videos and have seen me in person, you know I don't have ginormous hands, so this is really, really small. I would uh, put this uh, of the size of almost like a, an Amazon Echo. It is uh, very small, uh, wireless charging pad as well. So uh, this is our projector. And with the projector, you get a couple things. So first, we have a charging cable. You also then have a little uh, projection stand. So this is our little tripod. And you have also then a power brick. So all these things make up the kit that you would be able to get if you were to purchase the projector. Now, for those of you who have been following the channel, you know I review a lot of projectors, and I love projectors, especially for home use, because it is just a great way to share memories and to watch movies. I'm a fan of doing backyard movies also, do that often. And something like this, really, uh, the utility of this, allows you to take this anywhere with you, not worry about carrying something really big. While we have that little briefcase that it came into, uh, this literally will fit in your pocket. I don't recommend that you carry it in your pocket, but it will fit in your pocket, it will fit in a purse very easy to move with you wherever you go. And something this small is going to give you the ability to see a 120 inch screen. You heard that, 120 inches. Uh, now the brightness on this, because it's so small, is of 100 lumens. But I don't want you to shy away from that because at first you may say, whoa, that's a little bit too light. And I'll tell you that lumens are not always equal from device to device. So we're gonna see what this thing uh, looks like. Um, I'm gonna show you in a room that has a partial lighting and then full darkness so you can see how you can use this. So let's talk about some of the, the major points. First of all, uh, this is gonna allow you to share content coming from your iPhone or Android phone, tablet or, you know, either one. So that's going to be your iPad or your Android tablet. And it's going to allow you to connect to devices like your um, laptops, uh, gaming stations. Uh, it does have an HDMI input that's going to allow you to really expand the utility of what you can see with this and transform um, how you watch uh, or share content. Uh, the other thing is that it does use um, DLP LED technology. So there are really no moving parts. So you don't have to worry about changing bulbs. Um, and then this little guy is going to be able to watch movies. So you're going to be able to watch movies on it for up to two and a half hours. And it has a built-in speaker. So at seven ounces, this little uh, projector is really going to give you a whole ton of entertainment. Now keep in mind that that's two and a half hours if you have it unplugged. If you plug it in, you can definitely go for a lot longer. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the features. We'll look at all the plugs and then we'll get to a video test. All right, so now taking a closer look at the back here, let's look at all the inputs. Uh, so first of all, you do have right here your your inputs. Uh, this is your power. You have a headphone jack, which also is your aux. So if you want to connect this to a larger speaker, it does have a speaker on board. But if you're in a larger group and you want to get uh, the full movie experience, you plug this into your speaker and you'll be able to rock from that. It does have USB connection for sharing uh, content and bringing things over. Uh, you also then have an HDMI port. Uh, and, th and that's pretty great that you have that as well. Now we're going to flip this over to the side. Uh, here you have power and some venting. We'll continue to rotate. Uh, here you have your camera and then here you have the actual focal uh, point for your camera. So this is what you're going to use to uh, focus the image as it's coming across. Now on the very bottom you have this mounting uh, platform that is going to be used to uh, use this right here. So you'll 
just uh, screw that into place and then you'll be able to uh, just prop it up and, and I like using these little things because it allows you to kind of put the projector in an angle if you need to, to to be able to project it into the right area so that's pretty much all there is to this little this little guy so really let's go ahead and power it up and see what it looks like all right guys so let's take a look at what the image would look like in a lit environment so this is how much it's coming across I'm probably about four feet from the wall and the wall is kind of a sandy beige so the wall isn't doing it any justice either uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to make sure that I have some good focus for you so that looks like it's now in focus but you could see that the image is still uh, is still visible now we're gonna turn off the lights so we can see what it actually looks like but I'm still gonna leave the majority of my lights on I'm just gonna turn off my main light which is uh, the one that's right here all right now check this out I have all the lighting behind me and I want to bring in my hand a little bit so you can see that there's a light source behind me because you can see that my hand is not completely dark so I have a light source behind me I actually have three lights on and you now see with the studio light main studio light off how much comes into the image so this is going to give you a sense of what kind of brightness you can expect I'm going to shut down now all lights all right, now what you're seeing is 97% of the light source off. Didn't go 100% because I still have uh, my monitor that's picking up this video image behind me. So there is somewhat of a light source. But now you can see how even more this image pops really nicely. So this is going to be the kind of, uh, I would say, brightness quality you're going to see from uh, images coming from this projector. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect it and we're going to see what streaming looks like. So as you can see here, really out of the box as soon as you turn on this projector it's going to tell you how to connect you can see my battery life on the upper right hand corner very very simple interface and the nice thing about this projector if you're someone who is not technically inclined and all you want to do is plug it in and make it go then this is definitely a good solution because all we're doing is turning it on and plugging it in you'll notice here that it gives you step by step what you need to do in order to get this to work with your iPhone and then on the bottom right hand corner you could actually do the same thing uh, if you're using a Android device uh, if you want to stream as well all right so now let's look at what the image would look like again 97 percent darkness and we're going to play a cartoon uh, we're going to just stream this and what I'm looking at is how much in sync does the audio coming from the projector and the phone stay in sync you're seeing here pretty good color rendering the blacks look really nice and I don't really see any stutter as I look at what's coming up on the screen from my phone and what's coming on the projector it's pretty much uh, spot on now I may have some Wi-Fi issues or some networking issues that I'm looking at but what I see happening on the phone and what I ha see happening on the screen are in sync All right, so now the next thing is let's go ahead and stream a little of content from my channel. Uh, this was a video that we just did um, early this week as we came back from a unpacked event. And just want to show you what the quality uh, looks like if you want to stream you know, some YouTube content. So here uh, is the outdoor setting of this review of the scooter. Um, it's on the channel, so check it out. It's really, really fun. And again, I'm noticing some stuttering, but that stuttering that you see there isn't the projector. It's actually my phone that's actually doing that. Uh, but all in all, again, still very viewable. Uh, again, really fun uh, for those of you who are looking to, for a projector like this for the family. All right, now the next view is all about sharing contents when it comes to photos. So I just wanted to show you I'm right now streaming from my phone wirelessly to the projector some photos that I have. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see uh, what you can expect. I'm going to zoom out again. And then what we're going to do is go on to the next one right here. So you can see how that's zooming in. We'll swipe. All right, keep on going. Kind of detail that you're going to be able to get. You see that one right there? Another flower. And that's my dog. So uh, great for sharing photos. Um, quality looks great. And then once again, uh, you can't beat this, especially if you can go 120 inches. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the projector. Uh, it is tiny, it's compact, and it's affordable. 
And if you're looking for something that falls into those three categories, uh, you may want to consider this one. Uh, it's going to be a uh, delight to take this with you camping. You can put this in a bedroom, in a kid's room, to consume content that way, to stream media from an iPhone or an Android phone. And it's like really, really easy to do. And the performance is also great. So that concludes our review. And if you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave it in the comment area. Smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.